Hello, Honorable Zadi. Hello, Fejiro. What is it? A community leader from Kwangolo community called to talk to you, sir. But I told him you were in a meeting, sir. What does he want? He said he called to remind you of the water project you promised during your campaign, sir. It is not all campaign promises that must be fulfilled. Exactly what I told him, sir. I didn't tell you to tell anyone that. That is a political truth between you and I. If you are quoted, I will deny you. I did not actually tell him that. I was just lying just how you taught me to, sir. I didn't say you should be lying to me. I said lie on my behalf. What is going wrong with you? By the way, Bangalore community did not really vote for me like that. I want that community with a very slim margin. They should expect slim projects. That is if I remember them at all. Okay, sir. So what should I tell him when he calls again? Tell him to be patient. That we are still very new in office. But, sir, this is your third run in the parliament, sir. Is it your father that keeps bringing me back to parliament? What is wrong with you? It's like you want to receive your sack letter via voice note. Be very careful. I'm sorry, sir. It's what happened again, sir. Hello, sir. Pedro, what is it again? I'm sorry to disturb you, sir. His Royal Highness, the King of Orege Rege Kingdom, called to speak with you, sir. What is he calling me for? That man with his hair like guava. Hey! He does not deserve to be addressed as his Royal Highness. He's a royal thief. He said he called to remind you of the promises you made during your campaign. That you said you're going to rebuild and redesign his palace into the new modern style. I will never do that. That building will get so old and fall on his head. Ah, sir, what did he do to you? That man is a royal thief. You know what I mean? He made my campaign so difficult. Do you know he was collecting money from me as well as my opposition? That man insisted on collecting 15 million from me and promised that he would share that money among his chiefs. He never did. I had to settle the, the chiefs individually. I'm so angry with him. He's a royal thief. That's sad, sir. A royalty like him should be able to declare support unequivocally to a candidate, not prostituting politically. Huh? There are great kings. When they declare support for a candidate, they stand by it. But sir, you know he's a king. And a king is like a father to everyone in his kingdom. And everyone is his subject. So you don't expect him to openly support one subject and denounce the other subject. I think as a king, all he has to do is to bless and pray for all contestants and receive gifts from all, sir. Pejiro, do you know your sack letter is a voice note away? I'm sorry, sir. That king is a hustler. Tell him I am not in the country. Oh, sir. That's our regular line of lies, right? I'm going to use it, sir. It has not casted yet, sir. And are you supposed to tell me that? What is going on with you? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Hello, Secretary. Good afternoon, the law. How are you doing? I'm fine, and you? You are looking good. Thank you. Ah, uh, it's all Gaffrey. Did you call him before coming? I should call my clients before coming? Do you know if not for my legal technocrat, you wouldn't have this job? Exactly why I'm trying my best to do the job the right way, sir. Can you imagine? Tell him his legal luminary is here. And don't forget to add that I came with a constituent. That we for your lazy dressed. Okay, sir. Hello, sir. Fejiro, how many times will I tell you to let me rest today? I hope you know this office is not a political customer care center. Sir, it's the law. The law. That lawyer with his hair like bicycle seat, hey! tell him to come back by 4 p.m. Sir, he said it's urgent and he came with one constituent. A constituent? <laughs> How is she looking like? Just there. Nothing you have not seen, sir. Really? All right, let them in and mind your business in that place. Honorable Zadi. I'm sorry for not calling you before coming. It's okay, the law. 
Since uh, they said it's a bit urgent, you can proceed. Honorable, this lady here is one of your constituents. From Okotu Ward 4 to be precise. Okotu Ward 4? Oh, the law. I don't want to have anything to do with anyone or the constituent from Okotu Ward 4. I'm truly sorry, sir. I'm here to plead on behalf of what constituent from my word did to you. Sir, please, we're sorry. The law. The law. Honorable. You cannot just be barging into my office with anyone at any time. That is over familiarity. You can leave your job. Honorable, I'm sorry. Did she even tell you what they did to me that made me blacklist them? Did she? Honorable sir, she have told me her own part of the story. But now that I'm here, as your legal luminary, I would like to hear from you so that I can advise properly, especially now that they want to make peace. So Honorable, what really happened? All right, let me tell you exactly what happened. Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon, Fejo. How are you? I'm fine, Ma. Oga is busy. Did you call him before coming? Fejo, how many times will I tell you that I don't need to call my husband before coming to his office? I'm sorry, Ma. I like your dress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Mm -hmm. But don't you think you should put it up a little bit more? Ma, it's gonna go higher than this, due to my size. Oh, talking about body size, I have something for you. You would love mm -hmm. it. Let me quickly bring it from the car, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> The two community have been in darkness for two years. They approached their local government chairman and even the, 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 the honorable representative at the House of Assembly. They were not answered. Am I telling lies? You're very correct, sir. Even the electrical company promised to give us a transformer, but they failed, even after we contributed money to them. Then what did I do? We wrote a letter to you. And you gave us a transformer. They tell him exactly what happened on the day I came to commission the transformer. I'm truly sorry, sir. It won't happen again, sir. Madam, as a legal luminary, I would like you to say exactly what happened that day. They started complaining. They started grumbling that the transformer is too small. The transformer won't give them full voltage. Hmm? Eh? The transformer is this and that. But it's a UK used transformer, not a brand new. And so, am I the first person to donate a UK used transformer in this country? Huh? Are you people not using UK used phones? Do you know what your relationships are UK used? Oh, yes. Honorable Zadi, so what happened after then? Well, I swallow. <laughs> hmm. Oh, <laughs> this is one of the choicest fabrics. I, I, if my friend helped me to buy it from Dubai during her last trip. <laughs> mm, fair Giro. <laughs> ah, look at this now. Beautiful. This is one of the choicest fabrics. <laughs> Quite expensive, but I mean, <laughs> I said, you're my husband's secretary, what can I do? <laughs> No, you will love it. This is what you should be wearing to the office. Thank you, ma, but I don't like this. It's looking like a maternity gown now. Or gown made for grandmothers. I can't wear this, ma. Oh, come on, Hejiro. This is work appropriate. Eh? You shouldn't be wearing this and shading things to the public view of my husband. But ma, I'm not dressing for your husband now, Abba. But you work closely with him. Hmm? Imagine he brings you to his office. And he says, help me to pick something. And you bend down. What do you think he'll see? But ma, I'm not dressing to seduce your husband. 
I'm looking beautiful and cashy for my future husband. Of course, I want to get married. Not attracting your husband or people's husband. I know, your point is valid. But this is a party dress. Okay? You should wear this. Ma, this gown is torn already. Don't worry, you will stitch it. Uh, okay? Ma, I'm sorry, I can't wear this. I'm sorry, ma. Fejiro? Huh? Wear this at the count of three. I'm sorry, ma, I can't. One? The law. Just as I was about to commission the transformer, the electricity company restored light. And the transformer sparked a little light. Twa, twa. Ha! Honorable Zadi, that wasn't a spark. The transformer busted into flames. And we had to use both sand and water to quench it. Ah, so? Was it not a small little quenchable fire? No, that wasn't a quenchable fire. It was huge. That fire was massive. Eh? And even after we quenched it, you still wanted to go ahead to commission the transformer. The youth got angry. And that was when it happened. That was when it happened. Before you know the law, someone used you to stop my head. What? I'm telling you, there were police everything in the fact. Someone used boy the arm to stop me. Boy the arm? Hot one, my brother. It was God that my security rescued me that day. Madam, is that how you people treat your honorables? That is why I'm here. We are truly sorry. I'm here to make peace and to appeal to Zadi to, to please buy us another transformer. Hey! I'm ready to do anything to appease Zadi. Anything like what? I think that discussion should be between you and I. No way! My honorable client here will not allow such corrupt arrangement. Who told you that? Oga, oh excuse us. Are you going to make arrangements for me? Excuse us. Zadi. Don't Zadi me. Zadi yourself out of this bit. Come here, Lord. I swear this girl. I'm not going to wear this girl. This girl is appropriate. My husband is sacked. No, no, no. Come with this. My darling wife, what is going on? What are you doing here fighting with my secretary? I will protect my constituency at all times. I will not allow anybody come in here and corrupt you with their promiscuous ways. Power to the people. Which people? 